Imagine Canada's skies, but with a whole new guardian. How exactly do you transform an elite air force to master the Gripen, one of the world's most advanced fighter jets? Get ready to discover the intensive, cutting-edge training programs shaping the future of Canadian aerial defense, revealing the meticulous preparations for a new era in our airspace. The future of Canadian air power isn't just arriving, it's being meticulously forged, one pilot at a time. Forget everything you thought you knew about military readiness, because we're going deep into the specialized training, making Canada's Air Force ready to dominate with the Gripen. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a revolutionary shift. Do you want to know what it truly takes to prepare a national air force for the next generation of combat aircraft? Join us as we go behind the scenes to uncover the groundbreaking training protocols and simulation technologies being developed for Canadian Air Force personnel. Witness the extensive preparations underway to bring the Gripen's unparalleled capabilities to life for Canada. Welcome back, Skyjet Wings. They said the F-35 was inevitable, a symbol of Western air power dominance. But what if Canada's smartest move isn't about following the crowd, it's about leading with logic? In the shadow of global tension and rising defense costs, Canada faces a choice that could define its skies for decades. The Saab Gripen, a Swedish marvel of engineering, is emerging not as a cheaper alternative, but as a strategic rethink of what air defense really means. Beyond the hype of stealth and speed, Gripen offers something the F-35 rarely does, independence. It's designed for nations that value control over their own operations, with systems that can be maintained locally, upgraded flexibly, and deployed rapidly, even from icy runways deep in the Arctic. That's not just convenience, it's sovereignty in the sky. And economically, the equation shifts again. While the F-35 locks nations into expensive maintenance cycles and American dependency, Gripen opens doors to Canadian industry, Canadian jobs, and Canadian innovation. Saab's proposal to partner with local aerospace firms could channel billions back into Canada's own economy, transforming the nation from buyer to co-builder. Then there's the bigger picture, the geopolitical chessboard. With Arctic routes heating up, Russian bombers probing northern airspace, and NATO expanding its reach, Canada needs more than just a fast jet. It needs a flexible shield. Gripen's electronic warfare suite, quick turnaround time, and networked combat intelligence offer exactly that, a fighter designed for the uncertain, not the ideal. Maybe this isn't about replacing jets. Maybe it's about redefining how Canada fights for the skies it calls home. Step inside the cockpit, where metal meets mind and milliseconds define survival. For decades, Canadian pilots have lived and breathed the rhythm of the CF-18 Hornet, rugged, loyal, and battle-tested. But now, the rhythm is changing. The Gripen isn't just a new aircraft, it's a new language of flight. And Canada's pilots are learning to speak it, one simulator, one mission, one heartbeat at a time. Inside the training centers, next-generation simulators blur the line between digital and real. Pilots don't just watch screens, they feel the aircraft respond in real-time physics, dynamic weather, and threat environments powered by AI-driven combat modeling. These aren't games, they're gateways into the future of aerial warfare. Transitioning from the CF-18 to the Gripen is like moving from analog to algorithm. The Gripen's cockpit is a thinking environment built around data fusion where every radar sweep, missile cue, and friendly position merges into one living picture. Veteran RCAF pilots describe the first flights as humbling, even disorienting. Years of instinct must be rewired, because in the Gripen, the pilot isn't just flying, they're collaborating with the machine. And behind every successful sortie stands an elite instructor cadre, 
a hand-picked group of aviators trained in Sweden, the UK, and within Canada's own Aerospace Command. They aren't just teachers, they're architects of a new mindset, merging Scandinavian tactical philosophy with North American mission doctrine. Each of them embodies one idea, that the fighter of the future isn't the fastest, it's the smartest. This is where Canada's new era of air combat begins, not on a runway, but in the minds of those who dare to master the Gripen. They're the faces you rarely see, but without them, no jet leaves the runway. In hangars lit by cold fluorescent light, Canada's Gripen ground crews are rewriting the rulebook of modern military maintenance. These are the unsung heroes, engineers, technicians, and specialists trained not just to repair a jet, but to understand its soul. Training for these crews isn't a crash course, it's a transformation. Saab's joint program with Canadian Defence Institutes is introducing a multi-tiered certification system where every technician learns to operate in mission-ready cycles. Unlike older aircraft that demanded heavy downtime and complex imported systems, the Gripen's design philosophy is different. Simplicity built on intelligence. Panels open faster, diagnostics run automatically, and software updates happen in minutes, not days. This means that where the F-35 might require a specialized team, the Gripen empowers a smaller, smarter crew to get the job done, anywhere, even on Arctic airstrips carved out of ice and wind. The heart of it all lies in high-tech maintenance. Gripen's onboard computer suite communicates directly with ground terminals, predicting faults before they happen, suggesting repairs, and logging every sensor's heartbeat in real time. Technicians describe it as working with a machine that tells you how it feels. It's data-driven intuition, a dialogue between human and hardware that keeps Canada's air defense agile and affordable. And this story doesn't end in Canada's borders. Through global collaboration with Saab, Canadian engineers are gaining access to Sweden's advanced aerospace laboratories, learning, adapting, and co-developing systems that could make Canada a future export hub for grip and maintenance technology. It's not just about fixing jets, it's about building sovereignty in knowledge. So while pilots soar into the sky, it's the ground crew who keep the promise alive quietly ensuring that every takeoff is backed by hundreds of hands, minds, and silent victories. The countdown has already begun. On the windswept tarmacs of Cold Lake and Baggettville, a quiet revolution is taking shape. Canada's first Gripen squadrons are nearing operational readiness. These won't just be aircraft, they'll be symbols of a turning point. According to Defense Insiders, the first operational Gripen unit is expected to take flight within the next few years, marking a milestone that will officially launch Canada into a new era of air defense. But readiness isn't measured by flight hours alone. It's about integration, intelligence, and the ability to fight as part of something larger. That something larger is NORAD, the North American Aerospace Defense Command. For decades, NORAD's command structure has been built around American technology and doctrine. But the arrival of the Gripen adds a fresh dynamic, one of flexibility and autonomy within a shared defense network. The JET's open architecture allows seamless data sharing with U.S. and NATO assets, while still giving Canada independent control over its mission systems and upgrades. In a world where cyber warfare and satellite denial are no longer science fiction, that kind of independence isn't luxury. It's strategic survival. And the story doesn't end with deployment. It evolves. The Gripen platform is designed to grow with its operators. Future variants promise integration of AI-driven mission systems, new generation radar, and hypersonic intercept capabilities ensuring that Canada's fleet never stands still in a world that changes by the minute. Saab's collaboration roadmap even opens the door for Canada to influence future Gripen EF software suites. 
meaning this isn't just a purchase, it's a partnership in innovation. So as the first Grippens prepare to rise into the northern sky, one thing becomes clear. This isn't just the replacement of an aircraft. It's the rebirth of a doctrine. A doctrine built not on dependence, but on design. Not on imitation, but on evolution. The new era of Canada's Air Force doesn't begin with a roar. It begins with a plan, precise, deliberate, and ready to defend the future. In every generation, a nation faces a choice to wait for the future or to build it. Canada's decision to bring the Gripen into service isn't just about jets or technology, it's about taking control of destiny. For decades, Canada's air defense relied on borrowed systems, shared logistics, and imported readiness. But the Gripen marks something different, a commitment to sovereignty, to stand prepared not because others demand it, but because Canadians deserve it. This acquisition is more than a purchase. It's an investment in security, skill, and self-reliance. Every dollar spent circulates through Canadian industries, research labs, and air bases, creating jobs, sparking innovation, and ensuring that defense spending doesn't just protect the skies, it strengthens the nation beneath them. Critics will ask, why now? The answer is simple, because security isn't a luxury. It's the foundation of every free society. And in a world where airspace is no longer a safe haven, Preparation is the purest form of peacekeeping. But beyond strategy and politics, there's inspiration. The Gripen era is already shaping a new generation of Canadians, young engineers, pilots, and dreamers who will look up at the northern sky and see not just a fighter jet, but an opportunity. A chance to serve, to innovate, and to lead in one of the most advanced aerospace programs on Earth. So when we say your Air Force is ready for tomorrow, it isn't just a slogan, it's a promise. A promise written in steel, software, and courage. Because the future of Canada's defense won't be borrowed. It will be built right here at home. As Canada skies prepare for a new chapter, one question remains. Are we witnessing just a fighter upgrade or the rebirth of a nation's air power? Because this story doesn't end here. It's just taking off. If you believe Canada's future belongs to those who dare to fly smarter, then join us. Subscribe to Skyjet Wings, where every story lifts you above the noise. Into the skies where strategy meets speed and the future is already airborne.